Hello mga kawawmat! In this video lesson, we will discuss about permutations and combinations. So ito yung madalas na nakalito no? kung anong formula ang gagamitin natin pag dat kapag meron na tayo mga uh, problem solving. So nakakalito kung permutation formula ba or yung combination formula ba ang gagamitin natin. So, kailangan ma-establish natin yung pagkakaiba ng permutation at ni combination. Permutation is the arrangement of object in which order is important. So, tatandaan natin ito. Sa permutation, order is important. So, ibig sabihin, uh, let's say ABC, okay, kung may arrangement na ABC, mag, uh, magkaiba yung ACB sa ABC. Okay, kapag ganyan sa permutation. Combination is an arrangement of n objects with no repetition and the order is not important. Again, sa permutation, order is important. Sa combinations, order is not important. So, yan ang pakakatandaan natin. So, halimbawa, meron tayong uh, example dito. Titingnan natin yung pagkakaiba ni permutation at ni combination. Given four letters, P, Q, R, S. Take three letters at a time. Again, given the four letters, P, Q, R, S. Take three letters at a time. So, dito titingnan natin ilan yun ang permutation dito at ilang combination naman meron sa problem na to. Okay, In permutation, since uh, na-discuss na natin ito sa mga previous video lesson natin, na-discuss na kung paano kunin at yung paggamit ng formula. So, dito, that is, uh, so, makikita natin. So, yung N natin dito is 4 at yung R natin is 3. So, gamit yung formula natin, makukuha natin, no? Yung permutation natin ay meron tayong 24 permutations dito. So, ano-ano yung mga yan? First, PQR, PRQ, QRP, and QPR, RPQ, RQP. So, ilan na to? Anim na to dito na. So, dapat 24 yan. So, again, class, uh, uh, permutation order is important. Ibig sabihin, si PRQ ay magkaiba kay PQR. Si QRP ay magkaiba sa dalawang ito. Ganon din itong tatlo na to. So again, permutation order is important. Ano pa yung ibang uh, makukuha natin, no? PQS, PSQ, QSP. So uh, anim din ito. So meron na tayong 12. What else? So meron pa PRS, PSR, RSP. So anim din ito. And ito yung another 6. So QRS, QSR, RSQ, RQS, SQR, SRQ. So, ibig sabihin, class, dito sa problem na to, meron tayong 24 permutations. So, ilan ang combination naman dito? No? Pagdating naman sa combination, sa problem na to, ilan yung combination natin? Okay, since uh, start pa lang naman ito, so, pag, ang pagkuha ng combination, class, that is, Your permutation divide R factorial. So, yung R natin is 3, tama? And then, yung value ng permutation natin is 24. So, 24 divide, ano, that is 24 divide 3 factorial. So, that is 24 divide 3 factorial. 3 factorial is equal to 6, tama? Kasi 3 times 2, 6, okay? So, again, our n is 4 and r is 3. So, gamit yung formula. So, yung value ng permutation natin is 24. Divide 3 factorial. The answer is 4 combinations. So, tingnan nyo ang pagkakaibad nila, class. Sa permutations, meron tayong 24 permutations. Pero pagdating sa combination, apat lang ang combinations meron tayo dito. Ano-ano yung mga yon isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat. So, ibig sabihin, class, pagdating sa combination, yung PQR, uh, PRQ ay isa lang yan. Ganon din yung QRP. 
Okay? So, pagdating sa combination, atong mga to ay is, iisa lang. Pero pagdating sa permutation, since order is important, magkaiba ito. Okay? So, I think, uh, sana nalilinawa, uh, nalilinawa na kayo kung pa, ano yung pagkakaiba ni permutation at combination. So, ganun din dito. Si PQS, PSQ, ay magkaiba, uh, hindi, same lang yan sa combination. So, again, dito kasi sa combination, order is not important. So, ibig sabihin, ang mga ito ay iisa lang. Okay, ganun din dito sa PRS, PSR. So, isa lang din ito. So, QRS, QSR, isa lang din. So, again, sa permutations, meron tayong 24. Pero sa combinations, meron lang tayong apat. Okay? So, I hope na naintindihan kung ano yung pagkakaiba ni permutation at ni combinations. Ngayon, uh, using the formula, so pagdating naman sa formula, itong ginagamit natin sa permutation, n factorial over n minus r factorial. And then, sa combination naman, okay, so sa combination, pwede natin uh, makuha yung formula natin, gamit yung formula ng permutation divide r factorial, masisimplify natin yon kaya ang maiiwan na lang is n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial. Okay, so ito na yung magiging formula na gagamitin natin ka sa combination. Ngayon class, kapag hindi pa rin malinaw sa inyo, so ito lang yung tatandaan nyo. Kapag permutation, it involve arrangement of objects in a set. So kapag nakita natin yung problem na merong arrangement, so ibig sabihin that is permutation. Again, kapag nakita nyo, na yung problem ay merong arrangement of object, so yan ay permutation. Pero kapag selection of objects regardless of order, so uh, nak ito naman yung nakita niyo sa problem, no? May merong selections of objects, so ibig sabihin combinations yan. So I think uh, medyo malinaw na sa inyo yung pagkakaiba ni permutations and combination. So again, kapag permutation, order is important and merong arrangement of objects in a set. Pagdating sa combination, order is not important and it is selection uh, merong selection of objects regardless of order. So tatandaan natin 'yan. Sige, try natin. I'll give you 10 uh, questions, no? Uh, tingnan bibigyan ko kayo dito ng statement, then identify natin uh, whether each of the following is a combination or a permutation. Okay? So, for number one, arrangement of 10 people in a row. Okay, so sabi ko nga kanina, ano yung pagkakaiba ni permutation at ni combination? So, number one is a permutation. Kasi, ayan no, kitang-kita naman yung word na arrangement. No? Merong arrangement. So, therefore, permutation. Next, okay, a community of five person will be chosen from a group of seven persons. Okay, number two, what do you think? A community of five persons will be chosen from a group of seven persons. Okay, so walang involved na arrangement, therefore, combination. At saka, may selection kasi, di ba? So therefore, number two is a combination. Number three, a group of 45 people are going to run a race. The top three runners earn gold, silver, and bronze medals. Again, a group of 45 people are going to run a race. The top three runners earn gold, silver, and bronze medals. So what do you think? Yes, meron tayong arrangement. Ano yung arrangement natin? Gold, silver, and bronze. So, therefore, ito ay permutation. Okay? Number three is permutation. Okay, next. Kasi hindi pwedeng, ano, diba? Magkaiba, magkaiba yung arrangement kapag silver, gold, and bronze. So, may arrangement yung number three. So, that is permutation. Number four, a team of eight basketball players needs to choose a captain 
and Koo Captain. Okay? A team of eight basketball players needs to choose a captain and co captain Okay, so what is that? Number four. Siguro malilito kayo sa number four. Kasi may word na choose. Iisipin nyo may selection. Okay, that is permutation pa rin class. Kasi may arrangement. Captain and co-captain. Okay, permutation pa rin si number four. Number five. A hand of 13 cards having exactly 10 uh, ten. Spades drawn from a deck of cards. A hand of 13 cards having exactly 10 spades drawn from a deck of cards. Yes, yeah, so may, may, meron bang involved na arrangement? Wala. So therefore, combination. Another. Number 6. There are 45 applicants for 3 computer programmer positions. Again, there are 45 applicants for 3 computer programmer positions. So, meron bang uh, arrangement? Wala. So, therefore, combination. Number 7. There are 110 people at a meeting. They it shake hands with everyone else. Meron bang arrangement? Wala. So, therefore, combination pa rin. Number 8. Arrangement of 8 people at round table. Again, arrangement of 8 people at round table. So, kitang-kita sa problem na merong arrangement. So, therefore, that is a permutation. Number 9. Number of 4 different digits that can be formed from 6 different digits. Again, number of 4 different digits that can be formed from 6 different digits. So, si number 9, or, yung order nito is very important, no? So, therefore, may arrangement yung number 9 natin. And, so, number 9 is permutation. How about number 10? Number of circles determined by 10 points, no 3 of which are collinear. Again, number of circles determined by 10 points, no three of which are collinear. Meron bang arrangement? Wala. So, therefore, number 10 is a combination. Okay? So, test yourself. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng limang uh, questions and then try to answer. Siguro, bigyan ko kayo ng 30 seconds. So, number 1, a group of 25 people are going to run a race. The top 8 Finishers advance to the finals. Number two, the batting order for seven players on a 12-person team. Number three, Castell and Joe are planning trips to three countries this year. There are seven countries they would like to visit. One trip will be one week long, another two days, and the other two weeks. Number four, the student body of 10 students want to elect a president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. Number 5, line segment that can be drawn given 7 points. Okay, pwede nga i-post yung video kung gusto nyo pa pagsasagot na kayo. Alright, so the answer is, for number 1, that is combination. Number 2, permutation. Number 3, permutation also. Number 4, permutation. And number 5, combination. So, I hope nakakuha kayo ng 5 out of 5. Congratulations in advance. And you can share your score in our comment section. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.